Hello students, how are you all? I hope everyone fine. So we are in last three questions of uh, functions. Okay, the three last three questions from the exercise from the function part. So uh, the repetition of the concept which we did in the last classes. Okay, last videos. So repeated concept, nothing new. So maybe you remember what I mean by bijective function. Okay, maybe you remember what I mean by bijective function. Bijective and it is both one one and on two. When it is both one and on two, then that function is called bijective function. Now we have to show that. Remember that we have to show that it is a bijective function from. Okay, it's a different set. Usually you will get set here. We have cross product. Okay, so first we will verify whether it is one one or not. The method is same which we used in the previous problems. So here f of x one. Let us assume the images are equal. Suppose he birthday. Observe what is clear again. X1 belongs to A cross B. X2 belongs to B cross A. Okay. X sorry. A, X2 is also belongs to A cross B. X2 is also belongs to A cross B. Then how I should take X1? So because of this, remember I am going to take X1 as A comma B and X2 as C comma D because it should be an ordered pair. Okay. Then the input. A, what is input a comma b f of a comma b then it is also equal to like this correct ah according to this f of a comma b is equal to uh, when input is a comma b what is the output b comma a if a comma b the output is nagate b comma a equal to c comma d out input is what is the output d comma c this is a two ordered pair so when two ordered pairs are equal ha uh, when the corresponding elements are equal Correct. Ah? So B is equal to D, A is equal to C. Now, actually, in proof, we should be able. We we must be able to prove that f of A comma B equal to f of C comma D implies A comma B is equal to C comma D. So now use this and write again. Okay, the relation between A comma B and C comma D. Whether they are equal? When these two are equal, if the first term is equal to the first term of the second ordered pair, the second term is equal to second term of the second ordered pair. Is it equal? Yes. So they are equal. So what we proved? Therefore, ha, huh, A comma B and Reno x one, B comma B, oh, sorry, C comma D and Reno x two. So f is one one. Therefore, f is one one. अर्थात् इतना for f is one one so one case is over we okay to prove bijective we just proved it is one one now we have to prove it is on two also so same procedure and पहले in procedure ले take an element y belongs to the codomain इल codomain है ना b cross है such that such that ठीक है f of x is equal to y then you must be able to prove that x is belongs to the domain Okay, so if y belongs to B cross A, then this implies y I can take as a B comma A, correct? Ah, where B belongs to B and A belongs to A. Ha, huh. f of x is equal to y. f of x and I know f of x should belong. Okay, let it be. This is C comma D. But remember, C belongs to A, D belongs to B, correct? Ah, equal to y. Y I know. B comma A, correct? Ah, here is the okay. Here Y is the B comma A, right? Now F of A comma B output Akbar be kade na gate change a gate position, correct? Right? When two order pairs are equal, this implies I can write D is equal to B and uh, C is equal to A. Now he to assume more. Now again prove more by co. We have to prove that X, this X, the C comma D is belongs to A cross B. Okay, what is X here? C comma D, correct? Ah, is it C belongs to? Okay, C C is equal to no A, D is equal to no B. So obvious, this must belongs to no A cross B. So what what we proved? Okay, we proved that f of x is equal to y for all x. Okay, belongs to the domain. Y belongs to codomain. So we proved f is on two. Correct? No. Here we proved on one one. Here we proved on two. So the function is, you know, bijective. Therefore, f is bijective. Correct? Ah, अतः इतना बात. So, but different इतने क्वेश्चनों. 
Why this question is different? It is not from a normal set to another normal set. It's a between the two cross products, relation between two set of cross products. Okay. So I hope you understand writing pattern concept. Are so the writing will change. See the correct of observe money. Artha agli na mele kiri. Okay. So I am moving to the next question. Okay. It is also different. These three you can consider little different pattern. Math method is same. The writing method is different. Okay. So now, the, what is the next question? F from n to n. N and no natural number. Be defined as f of n is equal to n plus 1 by 2 if n is odd, n by 2 if n is even. We have to check. It is not to prove that. We have to check whether it is bijective or not. Okay. The same procedure. So let me verify first 1, 1 or not. Suppose it is 1, 1, then proceed to check whether on to because we have to check whether it is bijective or not alba if it is not one one can it be bijective definitely no so one one alanta arbitra definitely write the conclusion that it is not bijective so when verify one one ill verify madbekadre inta definition use madlik agala remember you cannot use a definition that f of x is e f of x1 is equal to f of x2 implies x1 equal to x2 so as it is you cannot use but you can use a original definition in original different uh, definition different element from the first set are related to different element in the second set other than verify model okay so let me write some input and output what do you input set of all natural number output must be set of all natural number correct huh. let me start with the first natural number you know one one odd or even odd so odd is the function n plus one by two that is one plus one by two right one f of two 2 again it's even right so it is 2 by 2 equal to 1 yeah that's it over no why see f of 1 is equal to f of 2 right the images are same but in there 1 is not equal to 2 images same it may element same it be compulsory if images are same elements are different then it cannot be 1 man so what is the conclusion therefore f is not 1 1 if this is not 1-1, one, one, to check whether it is bijective or not, is it necessary to check on to? Definitely no. So, right, therefore, conclusion, you know, the, since it is not 1-1, one, one, on to case, no need to check. F is, uh, you know, not bijective. F is not bijective. Correct? Artha uh? logical. Since it is not 1-1, one, one, then no need to verify on to. Suppose it is 1-1, one, one, uh, either on to check mark back. Since it is not 1-1, one, one, definitely it is not bijective. Clear? Very good. Next question. See, this particular question, okay, it's very important for the next topic also. I'm going to take next composite function, inverse function. Other than tumba important agate concept. Oh. So now I'm going to check. I'm going to check whether it is one one or not. We don't know whether it is one one or not or onto or not. We are, we are going to check. Only method same, but work is big. Okay, little big compared to the previous problem. So let me start with the first one that, that is one one function. So for work just daily observe my day. I'm going to check whether it is one one or not. Definition you can use the original definition f of x1 is equal to f of x2. Okay, what is f of x x1? Can you tell me for this f of x? What is f of x1? x1 minus 2 divided by x1 minus 3 equal to x1 huh, x2 minus 2 by x2 minus 3. Now you have to check whether it is x1 equal to x2 or not. Check mark because first cross multiply mark. x1 minus 2 into x2 minus 3 equal to x2 minus 2 into x1 minus 3. So writing work is more. So it is x1 x2 minus 2 x2 minus 3 x1 equal to uh, sorry plus 6 equal to x1 x2 minus 2 x1 minus 3 x2 plus 6 simplification so he can again plus 6 plus plus 6 cancel x1 x2 x1 x2 cancel right so what is remaining minus 2 x2 minus 3 x1 is equal to minus 2 x1 minus 3 x2 next in more back each other money in the next okay now, because of this rearrangement, minus 2x2, okay, uh, it will come into the right hand side. So, this minus 2x will move to the right hand side. Minus 3x1 plus 2x1 
इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री एक्स टू प्लस टू एक्स टू अर्थ आता रि अरेजमेंट ओके सो इधन आगत है माइनस एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस एक्स टू माइनस माइनस कैंसल सो वॉट इज रिमेनिंग एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू सो वी एज्यूम दैट इमेज सर इक्वल वी एज्यूम एफ ऑफ एक्स वन इक्वल एफ ऑफ एक्स टू एंड वी आर एबल टू प्रूव दैट एलिमेंट्स आर इक्वल सो वॉट इज द कंक्लूजन एफ इज वन वन अर्थ आता F is one one, so one part is verified. We have to check whether it is one one or not, and we proved that it is one one. Next, you know, on to. You do have to solve work just there, but concept is same, nothing new. So take an element y belongs to the codomain, okay? Such that, okay? You know, f of x is equal to y. Such that f of x is equal to y. F of x in the x minus two by x minus three is equal to y. Cross multiply मरे. एक बार आते करेक्ट आ. Rearrange. x minus x y is equal to minus three y plus two. इधर नीचे तक घुमा दे, नीचे तक घुमा दे. Okay, just rearrange में. हाँ, now from first two term take x outside. You'll get like this. इधर नीचे बरी बोलो two minus three y बरी तने. Correct आ. Very good. So x is equal to two minus three y by one minus y. Now you have to check, sorry, whether it is belongs to set of all real number except three. If this is true for all, you know, for all y belongs to set of all real real number except one, then it is onto. If not, you must be able to give one example. Hey, check, my dear. Ha. Can this be a first real number always? Yeah, this is always a real number. Why? Why belongs to this set means y is never equal to one. Since y is never equal to one, denominator cannot be zero. So definitely this will be a always a real number. This will be always real number. So only one work you have to check whether it is equal to three or not. Suppose it is equal to three, it is not onto. If it is not equal to three, then it is onto. So then here check mode. Here assume. Okay, so just uh, rough work. Assume that this is equal to three. It very big agar rough work. Kedu very big agar exam mein. So on side le bariye. Suppose it is equal to three. Yena agar hai two minus three y is equal to three minus three y. Two minus three is equal to. See three y three y cancel again. Bara the two minus three is equal to zero. Is it two minus three is equal to zero? Definitely no. So why this is not coming? Because this is not possible. This is not possible. So what we proved? Two minus three by divided by one minus y is never equal to three. So this is true always. This will be true always. So what is the conclusion? Therefore, f is on two, right? Therefore, f is on two. Therefore, f is a bijective function. F is a bijective function. अर्थ आता सो दिस लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज लिटल एंथी बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टूड सो वी कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द फंक्शन नाउ नेक्स्ट इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक कॉम्पोजिट फंक्शन एंड इनवर्स फंक्शन थैंक यू